The Queen is here. Hey friends, it's Keezy here today, and today we will be restyling Monster High Vampire Heart Draculaura. So I did initially have a different video plan for this week. I'm still waiting on a couple of materials to come in for that video. I needed something easy but interesting to do because, you know, I'm poor and I need to make money by making videos every single week. Help me, I'm poor. Like I said in my last video, don't worry, I won't be reviewing this doll because y'all don't even like my reviews like that but you know what boost my confidence about my reviewing skills in the comment section down below by leaving a pink heart but i'm not gonna ramble on too much let's go ahead and get her outside of the box Now that we've got her out of the box, let's go ahead and move on to the restyle. So initially out of the box here, you can see she has these two big chunky braids on each side and it's actually tied with some rubber bands underneath the rest of her hair, which is kind of straight and just kind of falls back all the way down to her calves. She does have a little bit of hair that's kind of twisted and rubber banded in the center here. Then of course she also does have these rounded bangs. I'll be honest, when I first saw the stock photos of this doll, that was my least favorite part of the hair style is these bangs so we'll definitely be doing something a little bit different there what's great about this doll is that unlike some other companies <laughs> she doesn't have basically any products in her hair besides these little bangs to keep the shape so what i'll actually be doing is using dawn dish soap to wash her hair you don't need to use shampoo or anything like that on saran so without further ado let's go ahead and undo this style and then get to the washing I like to save the rubber bands just in case I want to use them again in the future. By the way, as always, a list of the products that I'm using in this video will be linked in the description down below. start by turning the faucet onto the hot side when it comes to saran hair you don't need to wash it in cold water or anything because of course we're not trying to retain any curls or anything so i just start by rinsing the hair in some hot water again she didn't have any product in her hair but it's always a good practice for me is to wash the doll's hair especially that bang portion because again that part did have a little bit of gel in it so i'll be using my dawn dish soap as stated earlier then of course I'll just make sure to rinse out all of that dish soap before moving on to conditioning the hair. So I also don't use the exact same conditioner that I use on my nylon dolled hairs. I know saran hair is very rare nowadays that we get, but when I'm dealing with saran hair, I actually use a more lightweight conditioner because the normal Garnier Fructis that I use is a little bit too heavy for saran and it will make the hair greasy, which we absolutely do not want. So a best practice that I'll always recommend is you should always boil wash saran before doing any of the styling, especially for dolls like Vampire Heart Draculaura because she did have a previous style that we took out. Of course, her hair has a little bit of texture from those braids and usually sometimes <laughs> boil washing can get all of that, those crimps and those like curly pieces out. Um, for some reason though, in this doll, they were really, really prevalent even after the boil wash but again I always recommend doing it as kind of a preliminary step to get out any of that previous style so of course as you saw I just poured that boiling water into a large bowl then I just dip Draculaur in a couple of times and kind of comb out the hair in between the dips and this will help to just get out any frizz or any of those waves that were created by the braids 
And for the maximum amount of smoothing, I just pour the boiling water over the head. This is just going to help the hair lay flat. And then again, try to get the hair as smooth as possible before moving on to the styling. I don't think this next step is 100% necessary, but I like to set the hair with a little bit of cold water after the boil wash. And to remove any tangles that may have happened after the boil wash, I like to condition the hair one more time. Okay, and now for the fun part. I'm gonna show you how to flat iron saran hair. I can't believe I've never done this video on my channel, but this is gonna be fun. So at first, I start by sectioning out the hair into horizontal sections and tying up the section that I'm not working on currently. Then I'm gonna go in with some Volks water wax. I'm just gonna smooth this throughout each section before flat ironing it. This just helps the hair to stay really sleek and really smooth. Then I'll go in with my flat Flat iron, it is super important that you get one that is temperature controlled. And this is probably the most important tip. I do not go more than 230 degrees Fahrenheit for saran hair. As you can see, I used a spray bottle to get the hair damp. Then I went in with my water wax. Then I will slowly move the flat iron down the hair about three or more times, depending on how the hair is reacting to the straightening. If the hair has some pre-existing texture like Draculaura does, then I'll use the chasing method as you saw in the previous clip. It's just where you place a comb behind the flat iron while you're straightening and it makes the hair super sleek. Just a couple of disclaimers, I do not recommend doing this method without a temperature controlled flat iron. So many people think that you can just skip that step and buy whatever flat iron and you will end up burning the doll's hair that way. Also, while you're applying water to the hair, you will hear a little bit of a sizzling sound as you straighten each section. Don't worry, the hair is not burning. That's just the hair evaporating due to the heat. Trust me, if you were melting off the doll hair, it would just snap off all in one chunk and you would definitely know that it's it's done for <laughs> If this is your first time trying out flat ironing, try it on a throwaway doll, a doll that you don't really care about. I definitely don't recommend trying it out on a $100 doll that may or may not be sold out. Um, you probably will have to end up rerouting the doll, and I don't want to be responsible for ruining your doll. Even though, if you follow these steps, you definitely will not burn their hair. Now moving on to the final styling part. So what I wanted to do for Draculaura is, of course, like I said, I didn't really like those big chunky braids that they had next to her face. It was great in concept, but overall it just wasn't for me. <laughs> so when restyling her, I wanted to give her something that was still really simple, but also still really glamorous and also had just a little bit of detail. So what I did was give her kind of like this reverse um, bun type of thing. I've done this before on one of my YouTube shorts for I believe it was Project Runway uh, Sunny. And yeah, so all you do is you just take a little ponytail off the top of the head, split it in half, and then you just kind of flip the ponytail through that little part that you created. And then you tighten it down and that is what creates that kind of bump. It definitely has kind of like a 60s, 70s feel to it, which I love. Love. Someone on Twitter actually says it kind of gives Elvira vibes and I could definitely see that. So as I stated, I wanted to give her a little bit of detail on the side of her head. So what I did was take out two sections on each side of her head. Then on each side, I created two braids and a rope braid, which I eventually pulled to the back. I felt like this was a cute nod to her original hairstyle without creating too much bulkiness on the side of her face. I think it worked out pretty, pretty well. And I still feel like it has that kind of elegant feel that will go really really nicely with the dress that she wears. 
So I'll definitely say this is probably my favorite release from Monster High for this year. Like everything about this doll is just so epic, so grand. I love the big like cage skirt ball gown design. I love all the little small pearls and the little small rose details. I love that they gave her a headpiece. I really think that Monster High is just going all out this season. But I want to know your opinions on this doll. Were you able to pick her up yourself? Did you even want her to begin with? Let me know in the comment section down below. Alright friends, and that is all for my restyle of Vampire Heart Draculaura. Let me know your thoughts of this doll in the comment section down below. Also, if you enjoyed hanging out with me today while I restyled this doll, give that thumbs up button down there a big push. Also, if you love living your inner doll hairstylist fantasy, that's what we do every single week on this channel, and we'd love to have you a part of the family. So if you feel so inclined, hit that subscribe button and down below and if you didn't know i'm not just a youtuber i'm also a tweeter a instagrammer and a tiktoker so i would love to see you guys on my other platforms it's peace.love.plastic on all platforms but that is all for me friends i will see you possibly later this week <laughs> for another monster high video so i will see you then i love you guys peace